Good morning, everybody. We're back to the AFC West. And we're going to look at the Kansas City Chiefs. Maybe we'll just roll up the carpet and say, hey, okay, this team, since Mahomes has been there, they go to all the championship games. They go to many Super Bowls. They've had a couple wins. Andy Reid did really well in Philadelphia, but really well in Kansas City, getting to the playoffs, winning playoff games. Um, I have to say that Andy Reid is... This has been a remarkable career and has to be mentioned as one of the best coaches, if not the best coach, over the last few decades. I mean, in the last four years, he's won, going backwards, 17, 14, 16, 15 wins. I mean, this is an incredible record. And Mahomes, remarkable. He's remarkable. He is... Uh, They've solved a lot of issues. They've gotten, they've lost a few players that you would think if you lose these players, you're not going to win. But they, they had a great season last year. They won the Super Bowl. Now a couple times in the Super Bowl, they had double digit uh, deficits at halftime and come back and win. Last year was one of them. Another was against the Niners a few years ago. Um, there is always the possibility of regression. And when you're looking at Kelsey's getting older, the hunger, you, you figure things things will slow down a little bit. But let's take a look at this division. You got Denver, and we don't know, have no idea what's going to happen with Russell Wilson, how that's going to all blend together with Sean Payton. We've got the Chargers, who have an amazing roster. But their head coach probably should have been fired two years ago, so we don't know what we're going to get out of that. The positive is you bring in an offensive coordinator that if Staley listens to him um, and plays, has him play, make the play, play the, <laughs> call the plays, especially at the right time, you're not going to go for it you know, fourth and three on your own 20 for some crazy reason that I will never understand this this fellow. But I, I think that there's a possibility the Chargers could actually live up to their potential. But when you look at the ownership situation there, the head coaching situation there, it's a stretch. The Raiders... I, I'm not a big fan of their head, of their coach. I'm not a big fan of their ownership. I do not think the Raiders are going anywhere positive this year. I think a lot of changes have to happen there for that to that to be. So you look at you look at this division, and you say, well, who's going to knock them off? It's not going to be Denver. It's not going to be the Chargers. Who's it going to be? Well, I don't see it happening. Uh, I just, you know, unless there's injuries on the Kansas City side, they're going to come back and they're going to win this division again. Uh, they start the season off with Detroit. That's a Thursday game. High-scoring team in Detroit. Jacksonville, they go there. That's another potential high-scoring game. And then they have a... A game at home to Chicago, who has trouble scoring. Then they go to the Jets in Minnesota, back to back. They're two quality teams with quality quarterbacks. Then they play Denver. That's a Thursday night game. And then Chargers. Well, Denver and the Chargers. It's a division games, tough games. They're always tough games in division. Then at one point, down on November 5th, they have to play Miami. Miami's a very tough, and then, of course, they have an open date, and then they come back and they play the team they beat in the Super Bowl, Philadelphia. So it's uh, this is a very interesting season. They're going to play uh, some pretty good quarterbacks. One thing the Chiefs have a problem with, their, their defense is not top quality, uh, and they're having problems with Jones. 
signing him at this moment as we're doing this podcast, that's a big issue. If they don't sign him, they lose a lot on the defensive side of the ball. Now, there's no question on their offense, they can score 30, 35 points on just about anybody, but they got to be able to, I mean, just look at the total in the first game, 54, 54 and a half, and that's up from 53. So nobody's giving a lot of respect to their defense, but we all know that when Mahomes there and Kelsey there and Reed there, they're going to score points. So wide receivers are a little... Um, questionable. You have to, you know, so you're breaking in some new people. Uh, they lost Tyra Kill a couple of years ago. They managed it last year. I look for the Chiefs to win this division, but going all the way to the Super Bowl is is going to be questionable. I mean, there's some other good AFC teams, a lot of AFC teams that are very good. So I'm, I'm looking for another good Andy Reid. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, is it's been amazing what he's been able to do. He's McNabb in Philadelphia, he's got Mahomes here. Yeah, he's got some weapons, and he's used them well. Should be a very interesting season watching this team.